This video is going to be about how to take an object that you create in Blender, bring it into Substance Painter, apply textures, and in particular opacity for things like glass. Um, do that in Substance Painter, and then how to export the textures, that opacity in particular map, and bring it back into Blender and use it in Blender. All right. Um, so let's say you've got your little sci-fi jar here that you've created in Blender and it's already UV unwrapped. I've got a lid and I've put on materials. I've got a lid material, a glass material, and I've got paper or a label. I don't have actual uh, any textures on there. It's just I've named the materials. All right, so with it UV'd, I'm going to press A. I'm going to select everything. I've got three parts to this. File, Export, I'm going to choose FBX, and I'm going to choose Location to export this. All right, so I've got the name of my model. I'm going to choose Selected Objects because I've got those selected. Let's say I've got a scene and I just want to export just that jar. Export FBX. Now we go into Substance Painter. In Substance Painter now, I'm going to open my model. I'm going to click New. I'm going to choose my docking resolution. I'm going to go for 2K. select my model press OK and here it is in order to apply the textures I'm going to bake the textures so come to texture set settings scroll down to bake mesh maps I'm going to choose 2k and I'm going to uncheck ID because I don't need that the textures are now baked and the maps have been created it's time for me to go ahead and start texturing I'm going to work on the lid first. So I'm going to come to the layers, delete the default layer, come to Smart Materials, and just choose a material that I like, like maybe this copper worn. And you know, you can spend as much time as you want on materials. Uh, that's not the point of this video. But let's say I like that lid. For the paper, I'm going to choose this plastic used soft um, smart material. And I'm going to come in here to the base color and change it to sort of an off white. And that's what I'm going to use for paper. Looks all right, I guess. Okay, so I've got some paper in there. And let's just throw in, let's click orthographic and snap it to a front view. Let's quickly put some text on here. So I'm going to add a fill layer and a black mask and over here I'm going to choose color alt click on color and make it dark essentially black and I'll come up to my alphas and choose font and I'm going to choose this courier font go to the properties and I'm going to change this text and I'm going to write something like maybe this is a lab a lot just so I'll choose like genus, uh, Lucas, species, uh, terrestris, maybe, and um, type, and I'll say like uh, vermiform, and uh, maybe preserve, preservative, formalin, like that. Let's change this to bold. Now, if I come over here, you will see that my text is sort of cut off. So if I increase the size like this, I, I can't fit my text in the circle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lower the size of this so I can see it. I'm going to increase the size right here. Try that. See how it fits. It's going kind of funny, so I'm going to increase that a bit decrease it here let's see let's try 150 uh, maybe that is looking okay okay we have some some text on our label 
all right and if I wanted to I could add another layer here and over here I could choose maybe maybe color and roughness and make this kind of dark and I could come over here and choose smart masks and find something that would muck up the paper a little bit and look okay so we'll just leave it like that let's say we're let's say we're okay now in particular we got to deal with the glass so I'm going to click on the glass um, texture set or material and I have to do a couple of things first click on the shader tab switch this from PBR metal rough to PBR metal rough with alpha blending so I need to do that and I also need to come to the texture set settings and I need to add under channels click there and choose opacity now I can create a glass material so I did those two things the shader tab and the channel let's get rid of this layer let's go to smart materials I'm going to choose glass and I'm going to use this one I can drag it to my object or to my layer stack and you can see that it's applied this glass right here and it's got some opacity if we come in here we look at this come down to the base layer properties we'll see i've got an opacity channel and i can slide this down and i can make it clear if i want so i'll i'll do something like that now i can come to my glass i can add a fill layer and a black mask and a smart mask and i can just drag in some different things there and that's too much let's try this let's say I like that and then you can put whatever you want in your in your jar all right I'll come over here and just for looking at this thing I'll put anti-aliasing all right so you've got your jar and let's say you're done now we need to export this come over here choose export textures now typically i would just export pbr metallic roughness all right so i'll put templates you choose which one i've got pbr metallic roughness this one here okay and that would export the lid the paper and the glass but I want to export as well. You can see I've got base color. I've got emissive, even though I didn't use that. Height, metallic, normal, and roughness. But I want to export the opacity, and that's not on there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose in output templates my PBR metallic roughness. So here it is but I need to add a new one I'm going to create let's let's do this first of all take this duplicate it it's down here double click and change it to whatever you want I'm gonna call this opacity video create a gray channel down here name this opacity Take opacity from here from the input map section, drag it onto here, and choose gray channel. And that's it. Right? Come back to your settings and make sure you choose that opacity video. Choose your location and then choose export. There is the opacity map right there okay we're good now we're going back into blender so here I am in blender I'm going to switch over to the shading tab and I'll start with the lid I'm going to click on the principal BSDF because I already created these materials before and with the node wrangler enabled I'll press shift control T and find my textures Okay, so it's the lid, so I'm going to choose the base color all the way down to the roughness. Click, and I get that. This is my label. 
my paper. Shift Control T, paper. Now I'm going to choose my glass. I'm going to do the same thing glass to roughness, and that will give me this, but it hasn't given me the opacity yet. I'm going to slide this over. Shift A, shader. I'm going to take a mix shader, drop it in there. Shift A shader, transparent. Put that in the bottom. And finally, texture, image texture. Open and find that opacity map. Click open, drag the color into the fact. Now that's what I needed to do. I still don't see the transparency yet. And now, come over to the materials. For the blend mode, I'm going to choose alpha blend. And I now start to see things through here. I'm going to do screen space reflections. Shadow mode, I'm going to do going to be alpha hashed. And then you can mess around with, with that. Let's go back into layout. And just to make things a little bit easier, I'm going to select both so you can see this. I'm going to move this into a collection. I'm going to call this jar, jar one. And I'll make a copy of it. I made it a little smaller just for the fun of it. I'll call this jar two. So I now have my object textured from Substance Painter, viewable and renderable in Blender with the transparency. There you go.